Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. This is your girl, MC, here. Today, I am talking about Loyalty Rewards Points Monday. And we'll get into a little bit about the back end, and I'll show you in the bonus area how I've been earning passively, even while I sleep, every single Monday. In addition, today, I will ask Nicholas Leonardo to hop on to the call to talk about the beginner, intermediate, and advanced portion of the V Mastery Academy, where individuals can learn how to institutional trade like the banks do. Some individuals hop on, activate a package, and start earning passively weekly and choose just to only do that. The added advantage I would advise for you to learn about institutional trading by an FTMO certified instructor that 5Xs his trades every six weeks. I'm not a financial advisor. Do your own research. Afford to invest what you can afford to invest. If you have any questions down below, there's a link I'll include to add to yourself to a Telegram group and reach out and DM me there and just say, hey, Melissa, MC, I'd love to hop on a community call with you so I can get all of my questions answered. Hit that like button. Comment down below where are you tuning in from. It's such a blast to find out where my viewers are in the world and hit subscribe. Also, welcome returning viewers. Welcome new viewers. And without further ado, let's dive right in. Here is the dashboard and the lifetime earning points has updated in addition to the direct total reward points as well. And I'll drop into the reward wallet. This area, the reward wallet has updated on Monday. And the bonuses, let's get back into how it all started off with. The very first week I started with a $250 package and I earned 2.4% that week. We earn between two to 3% every single Monday with the loyalty reward points. I did not earn the compounding reward at that time because I didn't have anything in my reward wallet. Obviously the next week carrying on moving forward, it gets larger and larger and the compounding reward gets bigger. Moving forward to today, Also in time, I added on a $500 account as well. So $750 account on this one account. So $250 on Monday, I earned $5.76. I earned $11.52 for the $500 account. That one week, I earned 6.191 compounding reward. All the way, all the way up to today on the ninth, the compounding reward, obviously, I'm not removing the money. It's getting larger and larger. So $7.26. 20, uh, Paid consistently over time. And I have that whole track record. So if you have any questions about the earning passively while you sleep, do let me know in the direct link below. Join the Telegram and reach out to MC Melissa, and I'll be glad to hop on a community Zoom call with you to get all those questions answered. And even here, it shows I'm in at 30 weeks on my $250 account, and I'm also in 16 weeks on my $500 account. So earning quite nicely. Later on during the week, we will go through the network bonus from my left side, which is the total business volume, and it will update on both the left and the right side. And I will revisit my goal for the following week of building. This will change this Thursday. Let's invite Nicholas Leonarda on.
to talk about the beginner, intermediate, and advanced part of the V Mastery Academy that we have here for trading. My name is Nicholas Leonida. My Instagram is on the screen. If you want to give me a follow, I do share lots of stuff um, on there. I share my trades that I've been taking. And today um, we actually got into a very, very nice trade on pound versus dollar using my, um, my version, uh, my own strategy, uh, that is very, very um, consistent in giving you around 20% a month, sometimes a little bit more. Anything, the highest it's ever done is about 34%, but a very, very nice strategy. Um, and it worked beautifully today and gave us a really, really nice trade, which we are still in. And hopefully some people, some of our students are also in this. So I'm just going to give you a little background as to who I am, what I do, uh, and why I believe that I'm the right person to teach everybody how to trade smart money concepts. So my background, and I'm sure many of you have heard this before, if you have been on the call uh, before, is I am a teacher by trade, um, teaching lots of different subjects um, from I don't know what do I what did I teach? Digital marketing, English, maths, um, operations management. I taught teachers how to be teachers, um, or trainee teachers how to be teachers. Um, lots and lots of different subjects. There's a few more, but it's not coming to my mind. At a college in the UK, um, two adults. So it's not a, uh, you know a child college or child school. It was two adults. Um, and I am also a trader of the last three years now. And as my trading journey started, I was working full time as a, as, a, as a teacher. It's not a career that you can say, yes, I'm going to learn to trade. And next week you're going to start making money from. Unfortunately, it doesn't do that. Um, it's something that if you dedicate a decent amount of time to. You will be able to earn a living from it as long as you constantly look to improve yourself okay for me it took me a few years for others it could take six months it all depends and it all depends on the quality of education that you receive and this is where I believe that Validus um, will and is leading the way my journey through um, to become a trader was very difficult and quite expensive. Um, the reason it was expensive is not because the courses were extremely expensive. You know, they cost on average anywhere from, you know, a thousand dollars to much higher than that. Or a lot of them are monthly. You know, they might be two hundred and fifty dollars a month minimum, um, and. What I found with all these courses is that I would pay the money and I would learn some new things, but there's always it always felt like something was missing. I never looked to learn a course on a different strategy. It was always smart money concepts. But every teacher or you know, every mentor, they're called mentors, not teachers because they're not qualified, but every mentor was, it seemed like there was something missing. You know, most of their students were unable to do what they were doing and would be constantly asking, how do you do this? How do you do that? How did you get into that trade? And there was no answer, really, of how they could do it. And the reason is not because they're trying to con that person. You know, I'm, I'm a person that looks on the, in, on the good side of things. It's not because they were trying to con them. And it's definitely not because they can't actually trade themselves. It's because they develop intuition, trading intuition. And you can't teach that. It's something that you develop as an individual through trial and error. And your subconscious knows how to trade. But you consciously do not know how to explain that. Yeah. Uh, and this is where I felt that they let me down. And I, I think I bought about seven, six or seven, maybe more different courses from different educators, um, spending a lot of money, not making any money back, not getting any rewards as we do with Validus, we get our V rewards, and having to 
piece together a whole course myself from different people. So when I I actually reached out to Validus as a Validus member, everybody. So I started off just like everybody on this call. I bought a package. Um, I bought a at the time a TP five thousand, um, which is now V five thousand. I bought a package to learn how to trade and to gain my rewards. Um, and literally a month or two later, um, I was the my leader was a gentleman or is a gentleman called Ish. I'm sure some of you know him on this call. And literally I was speak. He was speaking to our, v, our at the time VP Mansour, now our president Mansour Tawafi. And literally I just shouted out at the phone. <laughs> let me create the course for Validus. Let me improve it. Um, and a month later, I met Mr. Mansour Tawafi. Uh, and a couple of months later, I am officially or was officially employed by Validus. Uh, and this is when I started my journey to create your course. So I'm no different to anybody here. If you have a dream that you want to go for, and you say, do you know what? I want to be this person um, who goes up on stage and talks, or I want to be the VP of this within Validus. If you really want it and you work for it, there's no reason why you will be held back. OK, so everybody can achieve the same as what I have achieved. You've just got to put yourself out there and believe that you can do it. So I created once I got the role, I created uh, a, co the, a course structure to make sure that Everybody who signed up to Validus did not need to go to another course to fill a gap. And if there was a gap, they could ask me and I would know how to talk about it. You know, I know how to answer their question because all the trading strategies that we use, you know, there's probably the main ones that I like. There's about three that I like, my main ones that I trade, but there's about six or seven strategies within smart money, there might be a bit more. But these strategies I have dissected and rebuilt from the ground up so that we know exactly what you need to do when you need to do it to profit from that trade. So I wanted to make a course that shows you all this. And again, another thing that I found missing from every course, in fact, unless you paid extra, you, you got like a, you bought your normal course and then you got a, a top up and only one person had this was mindset nobody knew and nobody taught mindset because they didn't value it they believe that it doesn't matter just just trade but mindset is what messes most of the people who try to trade up try uh, try to trade that's what messes people up because you know how to trade you learn how to trade but your emotions your inner voice is causing chaos with you and it's very difficult to stand up to your inner voice. I've said this before, your brain is the biggest bully that you will ever face. Um, it will tell you not to do something because you want to be safe. You want to be comfortable. Your, your brain's goal is to keep you safe, to keep you comfortable. Um, and that's it. That's your brain's goal. It's not, you know, in, on autopilot, your brain is not there to keep stretching you, to keep pushing you. It's just there to keep you comfortable and survive. Yeah. Um, so you have to work on, on your mindset. And we've got a lot of content coming very, very soon, which I'm working on it now, um, that will hopefully help people with that. So we've got our eight levels of education, V50 up to V10,000. And it correlates with, obviously, the packages that you purchase. If you purchase the V1,000, you will get access to V1,000 and down. If you purchase V10,000, you get access to absolutely everything and all future content. OK, so there's no top up needed now to make sure that this was a course that beginners could take. We created our introduction, our introductory element, and this was V50 up to V250. And this was where we covered the very basics of Forex. And there's a couple more things to add to this. Um, there's another video that I'm working on to show you how to use MetaTrader 4 on your phone. Um, and various other things like this. But essentially, we teach you what Forex is, what a candlestick is, what a trend is, 
what a broker is and how to use a broker, how to find a good broker. If For those who don't know, a broker is like the middle person um, in between you and the markets. They're the ones who place the trades on your behalf, but it's all automatically. Um, and we teach you all of this within the introductory element of the course. As you move up to V500 uh, to V3000, this is our advanced element. And this is where we start to look at our strategy, our smart money concept strategy or institutional trading, some people call it. It all depends on what it is called, but it's the same thing. So within from V500, you start to learn about smart money concepts. And just very quickly, I want to say that smart money, um, you see lots of things on the internet uh, about how it's trading like a bank. Um, and I always say this in, in this call, it's not trading like a bank, okay? You cannot trade like a bank because you do not have the amount of money that a bank has. Nobody has that money. Um, you know, the market, the Forex market is $6.6 .6 trillion a day, a day. I don't even know how much money that is. It's crazy. Um, I can't even visualize millions. You know, how much money would that be? It's ridiculous. So smart money is, in fact, learning to spot the footprint that the big players leave behind and entering when they come back uh, to close off their manipulation. And I'm going to show you examples of this when we jump into the charts shortly. Within the V500, you get gain the introduction, the institutional introduction. So what is smart money? And then we look at the three pillars of smart money concepts, which is liquidity, manipulation, and imbalances. These are three very, very important smart money topics. To be able to spot these, you need to know how to spot trend lines and how to spot support resistance. Hence why if you buy a V1000, you should still start from the bottom because you need to know how to spot um, all these things, which we teach you here, okay? When you move up to the V1000, you start to look at various different methods within institutional trading. So you look at something called the institutional footprint. Some people call it institutional candles. Some people call it um, order blocks. Some people call it last up, last down. It doesn't matter, it's the same thing. Um, you look at what Wyckoff is. Now Wyckoff is most likely, to my knowledge, the very, very first smart money concept trader ever, okay? Wyckoff, and you can Google Wyckoff schematic, it's all over the internet. It's essentially a way of seeing the big players um, in the market. Um, and it's a set of price action. And it's very powerful, but it takes a lot of time for this to, to show up on the charts. And Mr. Wyckoff was, and is in my opinion, probably the, the first ever smart money trader. Uh, and all, all um, smart money concepts have been developed from this, okay? There is other people on the internet um, that are very, very good smart money concept traders, but again, they are YouTube courses. They're not designed to give you all the education. If you think, spot how many views all these different YouTube courses have, if they were able to build successful traders, it wouldn't, we wouldn't have a ratio of 95% of traders fail. We would have more of a ratio of 70% or 60% of traders fail. And the reason 95% of traders fail is because it's human nature that people want things for free. And they expect things that are free to actually change their life. And there's only so far you can go with three, uh, things that are free, like YouTube courses. And yes, I did start learning on YouTube, but I quickly realized every single YouTube course held something back. Every single YouTube trader who was an educator held something back and released a course to show you everything. 
and I go like this, everything in their opinion, but they can't show you their own intuition. Um, so in the V1000, you get access to a lot of things. This lesson here, the algorithm is so, so important. If anybody here um, is already a member of Validus and has V1000 and up, watch the algorithm video if you have not watched it. The reason I say that, this will open your eyes into how the markets work, okay? It will show you that yes, the market is driven by economics, it's driven by what's going on in the world, of course, but it will show you that the little intricacies that happen, like retracing to an imbalance or to a sp specific candle, is all about how the market is programmed. Let's really think about it. Do you think uh, Barclays Investment Bank sit on the charts and say, right guys, I'm gonna wait for price to go up here. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna buy, so price goes up to take out all these little traders. Uh, and then I'm gonna sell to send price down. Do you think that they do that? In my opinion, no, because number one, they are ethically, governed they're governed by a lot of you know laws and regulations that stop them doing things like this um in my opinion it's how the system is programmed how the market is programmed to work and i'll explain that when we get onto the charts in the v1000 you get access to our first weekly call which is every monday and this is our smart money concept call it's at 5 p.m uk time until 6 p.m uk time it's a very, very good call. We essentially go over one strategy every week, which would be found in the V3000. You get access to one um, every week. We'll go over a different strategy. And within that, we'll cover mindset. We'll cover how to manage your trades. We'll cover how to manage your risk, uh, etc. This week, we went over the signature trade strategy and we looked at something called confluence which is where you build a case for a trade. You never enter a trade on feeling. You never enter a trade because it's done one thing. All the strategies are built based on the trades price doing multiple things to give you the best chance of success. You're never 100%, of course. But in that, we got, yeah, last week we went over the signature trade strategy, which is very, very powerful. And I think if anybody is was on that call and is in this call, I think the trade we looked at was about 35% risk to reward. Now, what that means is you're growing your account by 35% from one trade. This is what the signature trade strategy does. Most of the other strategies give you four, five, 6%. The signature trade strategies will grow your account by a lot more, but that's because they take a long time to play out. Okay, they might take a month to happen. When we move to the V3000, we start looking at the individual strategies there's one lesson for each strategy, and this is what I'm currently finishing off now. And you get access to our session open call, which is on a Thursday at 7.30, sorry, 7.15 a.m. until 8.15 a.m. UK time. It's a very, very early call. But the reason is because we want to take advantage of that session um, when the when a session opens, so London session, when the stock market starts to kick into life within London, a lot of volume enters the market. And that's what we're trying to, to take advantage of. Um, so we, we do the call, we mark up a ver various different pairs, about five, six different pairs. And we look to see, you know, if we can take a trade at the time, we'll take it. We never force it. But the trade, everything is marked up, ready to go so that if um, price does what we've said it may do, we are ready to enter a buy or sell depending, okay? Uh, and we're very accurate. You know, I never preach to say we're 100%, um, but every time we enter a trade on that call, and it's not every week, we don't enter a trade every week live on that call. It depends if it allows us, you know, if it plays out. We probably have a 70% win rate, roughly, um, on that call. Now, as you move up to the expert element, this is where we start to look at mindset and psychology. Um, and this is so important. As I've mentioned before, everybody can learn a strategy. Every, everybody can learn how to trade. Some people may learn and pick it up very quickly. 
Some people may take six months. Some people may take a year. It all depends at how much time you can dedicate, etc. But your mindset is the final piece of the puzzle. Okay, your mindset is the final piece of the puzzle because you as an individual will experience things such as FOMO, which is fear of missing out, which is basically when you see the charts accelerate away from your position before you've been able to enter and you'll enter randomly and then price will probably most likely come back and take you out for a loss and most likely come back to your original point of where you were looking to enter. But by that time, you may have blown your account. We also look at greed and how important it is to manage your greed. Everybody wants to make as much money as possible in the shortest time possible. It's natural. However, all the strategies are developed with specific take profits. But you will only listen to that if you've got your emotions in check. Okay, and it takes time. We also look at things like an abundance mindset. Now, whether you're somebody who, you know, is religious or whether you're somebody who believes in the universe or in karma, whatever you believe in, um, or whether you just believe in yourself, positive thoughts, and this is what, you know, this is all about, an abundance mindset. It's about being positive and not putting yourself down and believing, truly believing that you can achieve what you say you're going to achieve. Having that sort of a mindset allows you to fall down and get back up. It allows you to keep going when things get hard because you know and you have faith in whatever it is, if it's religion, if it's the universe, if it's karma, if it's yourself, whatever it is. But one thing we stress on the call and on the, on the Abundance Mindset lesson, which will be released very, very soon. I'm just finishing off, finishing off the editing. It stresses that just because you want something and just because you think something, just because you dream about something, just because you write it down in your journal, there is no right for you to earn that unless you work for it. But what this abundance mindset will do it is it will give you the confidence to keep pushing and keep pushing and keep pushing until you achieve it. I failed at, not, well, you can't really fail unless you give up, but I you know, had setbacks on my trading journey multiple times. And there's multiple times where I could have given up, where I was, you know, shouting at myself inside my head, thinking, what's going on? I'm never going to get this. But then you have to stand up to yourself and tell yourself that, yes, you can get this, but you need to change what you're doing because you've tried it this way for four or five times and it's giving you the same results. If you keep doing the same thing and expect a different result, you're, I, I believe that's probably the clinical diagnosis for being crazy. Um, you need to change. You need to look at yourself, look within and see what's, what you're doing wrong to improve. And that's the only time when you will improve. But you have to go through that journey. And we try and make that journey as easy as, as possible, providing you with the lessons, but also the moral support that you need and, and understanding that you won't get it straight away, but if you keep going, you will achieve what you want. So that's what we cover in the V5000. It's, it's, it's quite powerful. And we look at trade management, risk management, et cetera. And in the final um, call of the week, which is on a Saturday at 11.30 11 a, 11 a.m. until 12.30 a.m. UK time, we have our weekly trade recap call. And this is where we go over all the trades that we've taken in the previous week um, to see what we did well. And if we have a loss, we'll go over it and we'll see what happened. If we stuck to our rules, fine, losses happen. But if we can eliminate something because we did something wrong, then we'll look to improve that. And we also look to forecast what can happen in the coming week. And finally, in the V10,000, once you've learned to trade, once you've mastered your mindset, mastered when to take profit, how to manage your risk, how to compound, et cetera, et cetera. You then need to get capital. It's my opinion that of the, one, of the people that learn to trade and then master their mindset, the people that still fail 
is because they have not got the funding they need to actually make a difference in their life. So let's put this into perspective. If you trade and you're a good trader and you make 10 to 20% a month, yeah, that would put you as one of the top professional traders in the world. Yeah, I know you see on the internet people making, uh, you know, 100% in a week or whatever. And yes, they can do it, but they're very, very risky. And the next week they won't post a video, but they've actually lost 150%. Um, for a professional, and this is what we want to create, professional, well-rounded traders. If you can make 10 to 20% a month on your $1,000 account, which is probably the average account if you start to take things serious, because it's, you know, it's a decent amount of money. If you make 10 to 20%, you're going to do 100 to 200 pounds or dollars a month. Now, to most people, that is not going to make much difference. And yes, you can compound that slowly over a year, two years, three years, and you can get to a big account. But most people are unable to do that because they say, I've put in two years worth of work. I've put in a year worth of work. I can't get paid $100, $200 a month. You know, my rent, my mortgage is four times, five times that. So the next step is to get a funded account. A funded account is essentially... You find a prop firm uh, or funding uh, provider, and there's lots of them on the internet. We're very, very fortunate that um, in this day and age, there's companies that you can essentially sign up to. You pay a fee. I think for normally a hundred thousand dollar funded account, it's about three hundred ninety nine dollars, something like that, roughly. Some are cheaper, some are a little bit more, but roughly. And you have to pass a test. That test is, has got two phases and it normally lasts two months on average. If you pass that test, you are then given access to a $100,000 funded account. Now, let's put this into perspective. If you have been getting 10 or 20 percent on your personal account, making a thousand on a $1,000 personal account for the last six months to a year, you know that you can do that on that funded account because you've done it. Nothing changes apart from the amount of money you're putting into trades. And it does take a little bit of getting used. So I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to sit here and say, yeah, just look at it as percentages. It does take a little bit of time to get used to. Yes, 100%. And I went through it myself. It's a bit weird to start with. You know, if you're trading your personal account and you're and you take a loss, you might lose, you know, if it's a thousand dollars, you might lose ten dollars, twenty dollars. But if it's a hundred thousand, you might lose a thousand dollars. So it takes a bit of getting used to. But once you've got used to it, now if you make ten or twenty percent, you're making ten thousand to twenty thousand dollars a month. Okay. And somebody put here, what do I think of Audacity Capital? Um, that's a good question, Mister. Steal your pips. <laughs> Uh, not my peers, but you can still the market's peers. Uh, <laughs> um, Audacity Capital, I've not used them personally, but I have seen them. I've watched uh, videos on YouTube um, about them, and they seem to be quite a reputable. Um... <laughs> you just, you just well, I'll give you some instead of stealing yours. <laughs> Um, they seem to be quite a reputable uh, company. I think they're slightly more old fashioned in the sense that they um, they give you a small account, like I think $10,000. Um, and then you uh, scale that up slowly um, and slowly, slowly. So I'm not sure about their Sharia compliance, um, but I'm assuming that you're not a allowed to have um, swaps. Um, and things like this. We'll have a little look and see if you're in the you are in the Discord because I've seen your name in the Discord. We can't miss it. Um, I'll have a little look and I'll, I'll see if there's any other ones. But there's other big companies like FTMO, um, but they I believe do have swaps, but they don't actually allow you to hold trades over the weekend and over the night. So that eliminates that anyway. Um, there's companies like My Forex Funds. Um, there's Blue Forex Funds. They're quite big. Um, there's a few newbies um, out there as well. 
Uh, there's another one that I'm currently using called Lux uh, Trading, uh, and it's more of a career firm. And what I mean by a career firm is that you start off on $50,000, you pay your fee, you pass your challenge, which is two, two separate tests. Once you've passed your challenge, um, you then get given a live $50,000 account. Every month that you are able to grow your account by 10%, your funding gets doubled. You don't need to grow your account by 10% to take a payout. You don't need to grow your account by 10% to, um, to, um, to get a payout. But um, if you do grow it, your $50,000 will go to 100,000 and then your 100,000 will go to 200. And I believe you can get up to 2 million. So it's quite a nice firm. Um, reviews are very good. It's not one that, you know, we don't uh, recommend any firms. There's a lot out there. Do your due diligence because there's a lot of con artists as well. But essentially, online um, funding um, allows you to get access to a lot of capital and change your life. Instead of earning $100 to $200, you're earning $10,000 to $20,000. Yeah? It changes your life. It means that you do not need to worry about anything anymore. Okay? Paul, I'll answer that question in a minute. Um, and Raul, very good question. I, I don't know if you were there at the beginning of the call. However, we just had a breakthrough um, and we've just been able to get Spanish, not just subtitles, but Spanish spoken, spoken Spanish on the videos that I have produced. So they are, we're currently down, you know, setting it all up, downloading it all, and they will be on um, the V Mastery portal either by Friday or Monday. So they'll be by the end of the week or the beginning of next week, you will have all the lessons in spoken Spanish. Okay. Right. So obviously the V10,000, you get lots of other things as well. Um, lots of other education and access to um, our any future content you also get access when uh, we're currently creating this one to something called footprint analysis and this is really really fantastic this is the tools that institutional traders use these three footprint vwap and depth of market these tools this one especially footprint allows you to see inside the candlestick it allows you to see how many buyers and how many sellers are entering at what price within the candlestick. So if you're looking to sell at a certain price, you can see whether the big sellers are coming into the market. It's a fantastic tool. It's not easy to use um, and it's not that cheap to get a hold of. Um, hence why most traders have never ever heard of it before. And it's very difficult to get education on it as well. Very, very difficult. So let's have a little look at um, our last slide on this before we jump into the charts. Just very quickly, Validus is not a YouTube course. I wanna stress this, we are not a YouTube course. We are a fully fledged educational course, okay? Giving you all the tools you need to succeed. So not only do we have obviously our normal video lessons, which are in subtitled in lots of languages and will very soon be um, dubbed in all those languages as well. We also have our live webinars, which we have three a week, plus this one, so that's four a week. We have PowerPoints that you can all download and read and print and, and you know write notes on. We've got information sheets such as this consolidation sheet. We've got uh, sheets like this showing you how trades work. We've got user guides, step-by-step -step user guides for every strategy that you saw in the V3000. There, when the video releases, there also is a step-by-step -step guide on exactly what you need to do, when to take profit, where your stop loss should be. We're not leaving anything to anyone's imagination. We're providing you everything you need. You've got quizzes and assessments, which we're building more and more of as, as much as we can. And these are to test people because different people learn in different ways. Some people need to do an assessment. Some people need to do something to actually take what they've seen into their brains. We've got online question and answers. 
We've got our Discord community, which I'll post the link in the chat shortly, where we can you can communicate me almost communicate with me almost 24 seven. And once we've completed the course itself, we've got interactive videos, which are like you playing a game. So you can take your learning to the next level and really get involved in your learning. Um, I've got this somebody putting in something about live support. So if it's to do with trading, okay, I can only speak about trading, join our Discord. Um, I'm going to put the link in the Discord, in this uh, chat box, and you can join our Discord. And you have, and those who are there know that if they ask a question, they will get an answer from me. And I share things in there almost daily. Um, it's a very, very great place to learn to trade, but also share your own ideas and I'll respond. And my aim is that people will get to a level where they can also respond and really have conversations with each other um, and debates because there's no one right way of looking at a trade and taking a trade. I may see a buy, you may see a sell. The beauty is if you know that you should exit at the right place, you're both right. Uh, and somebody asked about Arabic. Arabic is also uh, a subtitled language, so will be a dubbed language as well. So let's have a look on the charts very quickly. So today I'm going to look at Bitcoin and I'm going to talk to you about support and resistance um, and how we see support resistance. And hopefully it will change your, your views on the markets. So what we see here, we're on Bitcoin versus US dollar. We're on the one hour time frame. Everybody who is in our courses knows that I prefer to trade pound versus dollar, um, but they work with everything. OK, so here we have a resistance line, which was also a support line. Yeah, you can see here price has been reacting off of this zone. This is quite a high value zone. What do I mean by that? Price is reacting off of this zone multiple times on both sides. Support means it's holding price up. Resistance means it's holding price down. Um, and what we see here is this break above. What you will then have is these break and retest traders, which will look to buy when price comes back to this line to send price to the upside. Now, what we see this as is liquidity. And liquidity is essentially people are selling from here or buying from here. If you're selling from here, if you're selling from here, you're going to have your stop loss somewhere here. And if you're buying on the opposite way, you're going to have your stop loss, you know, somewhere here, like 20 pips, 40 pips, um, wherever you're going to have it. This is on the hourly. This is 4,165 pips which I believe is about 42 pips in uh, normal trading, in, in normal currencies. So you can see here, people are spending money on this area. People are buying, people are selling, and they're having their stop losses. Now, people would have been selling from here, but price broke straight through it. So people would have been taken out of the, their trades. Then we've got the break and retest traders who would have been buying as soon as price came here etc and they would have been looking to take price to these highs yeah because people aim for the sky they're not sensible and not taking profit at relevant areas now if you were to get into a buy here if you were to take profit at this area here so here you would be fine but people don't do that now what then happens is we get that spike below to take out all those break and retest traders so we've taken out the sellers We've taken out the buyers and we've probably activated some more sellers, but price is going to take them out as well. What we look to do, and this is explained in depth in the course, is we look for the last down candle before price broke above to take the liquidity, so people's stop losses, from this zone. So this is the last down candle. This is now called an institutional candle. OK, and in the course, we're going into more detail about what this is. But this here is a very important area for us to enter. And what we can see, it's not by coincidence. Price has come down. 
is closed imbalances, which again, we explain in the course what it is, but very quickly, it's just an area where prices traded very aggressively in one direction. So there's not been an equal and opposite um, reaction. So people have been buying and not enough people have been selling. When imbalances are created, the market needs to come back and close those imbalances off. And imbalances is essentially when the, the little lines of the candle here and the candle here don't touch, there's an imbalance. Um, and what you can see here is price tapped into our zone and accelerated away with aggression. Why? Because price manipulated the sellers, manipulated the buyers and allowed the big players to fill their order down here to send price up. Why does the market want to fill the big orders? Think for yourselves, if you were a business, would you not rather keep your big player happy than lots of little people? Would you not rather sell to someone who's going to spend millions with you and look after them instead of spending with someone who's going to spend thousands with you? It's the same, very similar concept. Business is business. Markets are markets. It's the same thing. Yeah, the market favors the big players because it's providing huge liquidity for them. So we look to take advantage of this and enter when they are coming back to this candle, which is a mitigation, which we explain in the course. And we take price up. We would have been looking long position here. We would have entered on the one minute time frame. So we wouldn't have entered on the one hour, but even on the one hour stop loss here and you would have been targeting these highs at the very least somewhere in between here and here as your first tp and this is on the one hour time frame a 13 percent growth on account in in about seven hours yeah about seven hours 13 percent growth on account right there any questions from anybody let me know If not, I will end the session. But hopefully this helps. Uh, and we should have another guest on the call next week. Um, so you won't have to listen to my voice for a whole hour. <laughs> um, but yeah, we should have another guest, uh, a diamond leader on the call next week. Um, but hopefully these last two weeks, you've got to see a little more insight into what V Mastery is um, and how you use our strategy to trade um, and it's you know every strategy is good every strategy can work i just believe smart money is more accurate and allows you to take more profit than say support and resistance uh, and paul you asked about sticks or bars i would always go with candlesticks um, just because that's what i've used um, you've got bars which offer the same thing i just don't like how they look in my opinion you know you can see the wicks and you can see um where the candle opens and closes or where the bar opens and closes but i just feel like candlesticks are a bit more easier uh on the eyes uh, because they're bigger that's my personal opinion but they both offer the same information um when someone purchases a package when do they start trading? Up to them. I mean, you start learning straight away. I would never recommend starting to trade straight away. Give yourself a few months at least to get comfortable with how things work uh, and then go on to a demo for a couple of weeks just to make sure you're used to how to place live trades. Then start with a small account and build yourself up to passing a funded challenge. Now, um, V Mastery is our education element uh, and Validus is the the rewards and the v wards uh, and you know the, the the network marketing side v mastery is purely our education but it's the same company thank you very much <laughs> yeah my trading office is very good but yeah thank you very much everybody and i'm going to send the discord link right now so you've got that uh, and then i'll end the session let me and yeah, the Discord link is very, the Discord is very good. We share lots of information on there. Um, a really good place to, to learn. 
And this will be brought in house. OK, this will be brought in house in the next uh, once we've redeveloped vMastery. We won't be using a discord. We will use um, we'll use the new vMastery portal. But thank you very, very much, everyone. And I will see you all next week. Thank you, Nicholas, for talking about the V Mastery and the Institutional Trading Academy, where there's beginner, intermediate, and advanced, and answering some of the questions that some of us new people have about learning how to trade and the mindset behind that. Thank you, returning viewers and everyone for joining me on my journey of Loyalty Reward Points Monday, where we showed how I earned the points for week number 30, as well as week number 16 on my $750 account that's activated on this account that I showed today. Jump into the descriptor down below if you have any questions. Reach out to a lady by the name of MC. Just say, hey, I'd love to hop on a Zoom community call with you to get all my questions answered. Also, hit the like button. Comment down below where are you tuning in from in the world. I'd love to find out where my viewers are tuning in from. And hit subscribe. And we will see you on the next vlog. MC is signing off for today.